hello everyone my name is genesis williams and welcome to another tutorial and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to texture this in substance painter and how to render this in marmoset and we're going to do this little animation to in marmoset so this is going to be a two-part tutorial first of all one is substance painter the next is going to be in marmoset so uh with no further ado let's jump right in so yeah, this is my reference. We're using credits. So I'm going to move this here. This is what I did in ZBrush. So uh, I'm going to provide the model in the link below. I'm going to like put a link down there below. But So let's jump to Substance Painter and recreate this mark. So first of all, uh, we're going to bring in the low poly model. So I'm going to create new. I'm just hoping you guys know how to use Substance Painter. So uh, I'm going to get this mask, the one I created, the low poly version, uh, max underscore low, and everything is good. And I'm going to press OK. So Substance Painter is going to load this in. This is a beginner story. It's very simple to create this um, texture. So we have our texture here. So we're going to just go right, right ahead and just do quick setup I like to do is go to uh, making this 80 it's too close set camera and power number and I like to just use the Komodo studios so we have all this now let's go to the baking and um, yep big mesh and we're going to take our output to 2k you can use 1k but I usually just use 2k and um take off id i don't need that and i'm gonna bring the eye pulley to bake max i so and um let's bake this texture okay it's done so we have a mask here and we want to start get texturing so i'm going to delete this default layer substance paint that comes with so i'm just going to create a few layer and um what i like to do is that i like to work on the roughness first then work my way up so i'm just going to off all these other layers and just turn on the roughness so that by pressing alt and clicking on the rough will turn off and leave this the selected one you you pressed so and we're gonna take this to yeah something like point five maybe yeah i think this is good it's a good wood like texture maybe make it a bit more glossy yeah i think this is good now let's make a base our base color so we're gonna go to alt click on color and just make a brown texture um i think something yeah and something yeah yeah this is a good base color we're trying to get this let me see if i can bring up my model yeah one sec guys yeah so this is what we're trying to get so we're going to get this texture looking thingy so um now i think this is a good base and what i like to do so that we don't take time and like try to recreate a wooden texture for real for real we are going to get a wooden texture from the internet so just to make things faster this is just my way of doing things so i'm just gonna bring i'm just gonna write wooden texture and go to image and uh we are going to select this texture right here if you're following along this texture within texture i rest i already have that texture so i'm just going to import that texture at resources and let me see yep and texture project on title import and we're going to create a, a fill layer and we are going to just the color put this here 
now we have this then we're going to go to uv projection and just put it to tri and just to yeah so yeah now we have this weird looking kind of not that great but what we're going to do is just going to go to um linear dodge add so that's just going to match that with this layer below so we can just call this texture always name your texture guys and bum and we'll call this base and we're going to reduce this to like 70 yeah so i think we have good base right now so this texture has some texture is just instead of just having just one color we, we this texture just helps us get the work like 30 percent done so now it's our job to then add some more textures to make it look like this um yep so let's go ahead and create another few layer and go to color we're gonna go to color we're gonna add uh we're gonna make this color a bright brown something like this something saturated because once you start adding breakups to this texture so now we're going to start with the large breakups so uh, and um yeah i think this is i think this is good i'm going to add uh, a black mask and then we're going to add a fill and go to the grayscale and add this um i think it's grunge grunge that's not spell grunge fingerprint dirt fingerprint dirt yep that's it so we we'll press alt and click on the mask and we'll just see just the mask so these are masks and it's 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 not really that good so we're gonna make it perfect yeah so we'll go to grunge fingerprint dirt dirty grunge fingerprint dirty and just want to make a large breakup so we're gonna get rid of all these tiny tiny breakups so what we're gonna do is just take up the contrast and go way up and 37 zero point i think this is good then yeah i think this is good take our scale to four let's make it five yeah now we have this big breakups here and let's go back to this so if we take this out you can see those big breakups around here so we can actually help taking this on and just maybe make the color a bit brighter so that we can see that clearly yep so we have big breakups so now we're gonna do another layer another fill layer take this to color and add a black mask and in this mask we're gonna go to brush and we get um i think it's dirt dead spot no not that yet yeah, dead spot moss yep and what we're gonna try to do is just create some variations of like highlights like um if you get anything that is worn out that's old like wood yeah some the convex areas are just going to have some lighter variation so that's what i'm trying to create here so i'm going to go to stroke opacity and take the flow down a bit because i don't like walking full so i can have much control so what i'm going to do is just take the brush up a bit and just start doing this my bad so we need a color yeah so we'll just take this down brown up So we can up this so we can see that clearly let's make this brown like this but we want something lighter though so yeah something like that 
something like that yeah that's it something like that and like that's the cool thing about substance yeah so it doesn't matter what you do you can go ahead and just uh you can go back and change the color if you don't want it so i'm just creating using this brush and just adding details yeah so to make this easy on us we're going to turn on symmetrical because like modeled this i sculpted this symmetrical so yeah this is gonna work and just add this yeah yep i think that works and we can go to the nose and just add that around those convex areas and maybe just do maybe this stuff here still not digging this color and just put it to his, yeah and yeah i like this way better and i think that is done for that and uh, next thing we're going to do is create another few layer and we're going to add like another color but we're going to use another brush so color different darker color and this a bit yeah i think this should work and add a black mask we can turn this on to get our texture so what we're trying to just do you can see this little breakups here this really add to the texture the wooden texture i'm trying to give because i want something old and i don't want something really new so i'm just trying to give it more breakups just to age this thing as much as possible so yeah let's just go and take our dead two like this dead two has like a really nice um texture to it if you can see let me take the brush up you can see the texture so i want to it's going to help create this nice texture with this color so i'm just going to take the opacity down and take the flow down and just tap 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 and tap and just to add just add more yeah just add more more wood we're not worried about the ons right now so we're just trying to get I can make it i think it's way like this so i can just make it maybe a bit darker yeah And again, tech, when, you, when you're texturing stuff like this, it's more about the feeling, yeah? So you're trying to just get this feeling of what this wood has gone through. So we're just creating those nice breakups. And we can just play with the opacity just a bit, just to see what's going on there. Let's make it 9.8. So we're getting there, guys. Play with your light. He, uh, this is is coming to be yeah so the next thing we're gonna do now we start adding playing with this uh horns so i think it's time to play with on so we're gonna add like a dark a darker brown almost black just not too black because we're gonna add like two variations of those colors so do something like this yep something like that and we're gonna add a black mask and i think this is still good so we're gonna just paint 
just tap i'm just tap the reason i'm tapping and not smudging like this is i don't want it to the texture to smudge because i still want these textures to come up the texture of the brush to come up because it really helps with the effect you get you just change the light and just play around with this i want the ones to be a bit darker as you can see let me bring this up the ones a bit darker so i'm just gonna play with that And symmetry really helps with this because if there wasn't symmetry, we have to paint this and then go ahead and paint this other side. So, don't be turn on your symmetry if you're following along. So, yep. Yeah, so now we can add this black textures to the face, but we want it really low. We need it really low just to give it that. It's more variations you get just to blend it a bit with the ones you don't just want like contrast colors you get so just to make it give it a feel like i said it's for me when texturing is all about the feeling so I'm trying to feel this texture know what this mask this mask should feel like though it's from so most of the stuff from my imagination and i had a look in my head and what i wanted to get so so you can see i'm just tapping just to give that those texture i'm not smudge you know else you might get to do something like um, the this kind of brush because when you keep smudging that guy you don't want that so we want something that has texture go back I want something that has texture so so it doesn't cover up the layers below so it's just like adding more variations to the texture so yeah this black really gives it that feel that we're going for so we can just take this down go to the lips and just keep tapping guys if you're following along so yep take the brush and just keep tapping so we're gonna add another fill layer and this one's gonna be almost black it's like it's gonna be like really dark but you know in pbr you don't want something to be like completely black because it might give you error and when you're when you're rendering it in uh, like a real-time renderer so you have to be careful with how dark or how bright or white your textures are so it's something like that um black mask and we're gonna attack the ones again but i'm gonna take this up and just adding more variation to the darkness it's not just one kind of color it's nothing is actually like in real world it's just one type of color so you have to add those especially something that's really old like this feelings you're trying to give so i'm just tapping Yep. Yeah, just trying to 
so now we can reduce we can oh okay, let's just still play around here because we have some part here that's not getting affected just tap lightly now we can just reduce your opacity like and the flow down and just go again on the face i really like masks especially african mask it's just just pretty cool and i just wanted to do something a bit cool by adding the ons just gives that fantasy african fantasy vibe so on the concave areas yeah we just just bring this up bring the flow up bring the opacity up because this is a dark corners so you want to like texture this dark corners yep yeah you can just do that to the lips this is more like feeling guys and you can see the textures i don't know if youtube you can see those textures are there what you're trying to give you're giving all this just to make you feel more organic you know just at the nose you just make this place darker and maybe at yeah, the eyes just add those ones brush bigger so guys so you can see we are really getting there we are almost done with this texture actually so yep now we need to add like dead and edge wears and all that kind of stuff so what we're gonna do we're gonna add another field layer you know you may be thinking like cool man we're just adding layers yeah that's how substance work mask mask and mask so um make a bright color and bright something like this make it browny sandy dusty uh look we can't substance is really cool it's non-destructible so you can always come back and change it if it doesn't work so we'll go to black mask we'll go to add uh, a generator and we're gonna add like a dead generator now look at that that looks so cool but we have too much dirt we have too much dirt so um we're gonna work on this texture so we'll go to dead and we'll reduce the dead level to like maybe uh 0.5 to uh, yep now this looks better but we still have so much dirt here yeah. there's no way dust can like fall here yeah, so that doesn't make any sense so we have to work on that so we just still have to like maybe increase the contrast a bit so maybe that can take off some of those yeah yeah now this this feels better and i think the grunge amount we can like maybe increase it a bit because i think we are losing some yeah where we actually want it because we want it in these crevices and so we can take the grunge amount there and take um i think i think let me see yeah this doesn't really do much i think i think we can work with this i think you can work with this yep so next thing we can do now is get a paint layer so that we can add and remove mask so we're going to paint so that'll be on top of this and we're going to take our debt still using this brush i love this brush like it's amazing so um then we press x on our keyboard to change it from white to black so it's like a negative value now if it was if it was like brush takes out some of those stuff because our opacity is low it's not really taking much out so we're going to take that up a bit and start tapping 
we don't want it completely completely gone because we still want that there but not that much so see. this is the cool thing about texture you just you can just take things out because of the masking system in substance so now we don't want the dust on top here we want the dust falling so this doesn't really make sense so we're just gonna take this down a bit we don't want to take it completely because we still want dust around and stuff like that but just to just take the opacity down a bit in this area is just to so the effect is not that strong so just something like that something like that take this down and especially yeah this does not make sense at all so i'm just gonna take this opacity up and i'm just gonna i'm just going to just take it out you know those areas just make it make sense a bit i'm using shift and right click to move i'm holding shift and right click to move my lights for those who don't know so because i want this to be like as beginner tutorial as possible so I hope I've, I'm a, I hope I'm a good teacher. I think I'm a good teacher. An okay teacher. I'm not like super. Whatever. So um, just painting out some of this stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So just doing this. Now, if we want to be really nitty, picky, picky you can just yeah something like that just take this down a bit take the flow down a bit take this and you can just paint painting some there yeah like maybe you clean out some so much you can just yeah put your yeah so I'm just like just want dust there, and dust there. Yep. You can click X again to go back. Just take out the opacity and just blend it. Just, just want that blending. Just soft dust everywhere now we can add some dust around the face but very sub subtle and press x and just add it yeah just dust falling everywhere yeah just very subtle so now one thing before we forget we don't want this roughness to affect this dust so we need our own roughness map for the dust so we're gonna go there and just add our roughness and we'll make it really rough yeah something like that and um the height we turn on the height the height and the normals so we can the reason we have normal so that when we export it we have normal so we're gonna just take the height up So if we take in there, you can see if we take this up, we don't want this. So we want something subtle, just to give it more depth. So it's not just flat on the surface of the mask. Just add, yeah. So yeah, that gives it more dusty feel. So uh, for just we're gonna clean this mouth. I don't like this. So X increase this increase this 
I'm using a clean, it's not enough paint. I'm always gonna do this. Take this. Yep. Right there, guys. And um, something I like to add just to polish this wood more. So I'm just going to I'm just going to add another fill. So just to give it as below the dust layer. I'm not even naming this layer. So um, just call this dust. We can call this final polish. And we can just call this dark cast color. And call this dark color. And we call this light color. <laughs> and darker lights. I'm just naming just to know so that you can know it's always good darkest light yeah so let's go back to final polish and what we're going to do with final polish is take the base color pick this and just make it maybe a bit darker than usual then add the black mask and we choose a brush called four it's called four soft white and we take the opacity down and this has this soft feel so we can just smudge that or polish up there just to give it this final wood dark tone yeah you can i hope you guys can see that just give it this slow but it really does just brings this stuff to life yeah. yeah now we can add maybe another dark color yeah and add the black mask and we choose that so we're gonna go to that that's just that one this time and we're gonna take the flow down way down and take the opacity down a bit and just painting more dark you know just so it's not just as smooth and we can take this four and just bring the opacity down to maybe like going to so some of those textures can come up and just maybe we can add like a, a no something like dead three it has like more of spotty like that so we take the opacity a down take the flow down no wrong layer yeah something like that see that so we'll take it down we don't want it too much though so we just just then we can add it with some dead one just to give it the feel yeah I think some of this dead from this dust is not out so you just press X and just clean some of those stuff out because I don't want I want the dead to be very reasonable so we can go now and just take this opacity down a bit it's just there uh, yeah yeah guys this is the texture so we're gonna add one final one final adjustment to this which is the edge wear so we're gonna go 
create another fill layer on top of the dust color i'm gonna add some roughness and let's put the roughness here and height normal and we're gonna make this normal negative yeah a bit and um change the color something bright brownish more saturation though well it doesn't matter because we can see adjust that so we're gonna add the black mask and uh we're gonna add the generator called metal edge wear yep that's that now this is too much it's too much and um, so we're gonna reduce the wear level down just a bit so that maybe like something like 60 or 61 whatever and uh, take the contrast up to point something like this so we can like break up those wears so we have this break up there and um grunge amount i think grunge amount just a tiny bit see and um grunge scale let's just take that down to maybe like two so you don't want so much yeah now we can see all this nice detail here and now i think this is too bright so we're just gonna darken this a bit darken yes yeah, maybe do the saturation a bit but we want the, the nicer color yeah something like that so it's it's way better now so now we can add like uh we can add like a paint nope oops with a mask add like a paint and go to x you know, like just like we did before just not to make it so procedural you just try and clean this paint off yeah so it's not like it's not like same thing everywhere actually yeah just to let's add that smudge yeah yeah so so guys this is the texture whoa so at the back here yeah, we see this dead yeah so we can just go to this and take this up and just clean this maybe we want dust to settle down here but we don't want it here yeah definitely don't want it here so can like tap around so guys I hope you guys like this tutorial this is how i created this oh the next one we're going to be jumping to mammo set to actually render this light texture and do a little bit of animation like we saw below so uh i'll be seeing you guys pretty soon uh don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial so um peace see you soon